What's up, y'all? How y'all doing out there today? It is me, your girl Tiffany, and I'm back at it. I'm back at it with some more content for you guys, some more videos to watch on your on your devices. That's it. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm here for. So, if you haven't read by the title, y'all, this is for my women. Today is Father's Day. I know it's Father's Day. I probably won't drop this video on Father's Day. I'll probably drop it tomorrow on Tuesday. But if you're watching this video, I just want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. All the men out there who's stepping up for your kids, who doing what they have to do as men, as fathers. I'm telling you, your kids really appreciate that. And to all the bonus dads and brothers and uncles and even if you don't have kids and you stepping up in some kind of fatherhood or manhood, I just want to say happy Father's Day to you. Yeah, that's it. And it is also Juneteenth. So I want to say happy Juneteenth to all my peoples out there. We finally got us a holiday. I don't know how much. Well, I mean, I think they owe us way more than that. But we're not going to go into that. That is another video on itself. But if you haven't read by the title of this video, y'all, this is for my women. Like I said, this is just seven things you guys need to do before it tear you down. Seven things we need to do to be careful or these seven situations would tear us down. So that's all I'm here is just to sprinkle some game on y'all. If you knew better, you do better. So that's what my content's about. So go ahead, stick around, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right to the video. All right? All right. All right, y'all. So the first thing that your girl got on this list is just seven things that my women need to do to know better, to do better. That's all that is. All right? So the first thing on this list is just not knowing your worth. Not knowing your worth in a relationship, not knowing your worth in a job, not knowing your worth in a partnership, friendship, any kind of relationship. Just not knowing what you're worth. Let me tell you right now, women. We are worth so much. So much. And we, sometimes we just don't know our worth. We are worth millions. Priceless. And then we need to add tax. So what I'm saying right now, if you don't find out what your worth is and how much you're worth, Somebody gonna find that for you. All right, so that's one thing that I want us women to, to, to know. I'm stuttering. One thing I want us women to know is just find your worth. Because if you don't find your worth, if you settle for anything that's below you, you're going to be depressed. You're going to be angry. You're going to have anxiety. So know your worth, add tax, and that's it. Don't settle, don't apologize, be who you are. Know your worth. That's it. All right? And some women are worth so much more than we put off. So know your worth. Only you know your worth. Don't let nobody put a value on your worth. So that's the first thing. Know your worth, baby. All right, y'all. So we are back to the second thing that's on your girl's list of just seven things to be careful with or you lose yourself. All right? Just be careful with these seven things. Or you would definitely lose yourself. You will, you will lose yourself, and that is number two. That is the number second thing. That is the second thing that's on your on my list. Is just don't lose yourself. Sometimes as women, we we get in relationships, we have kids, we get careers. I mean, life happens. But in the midst of all that stuff happening, we tend to lose ourselves. I don't like saying lose ourselves because I don't feel like my other self was hiding from me or it was running from me. I like to say we outgrown the other person that we once was. So that is the second thing on the on my list. It's just don't lose yourself in anything that you're doing. Anything that you're doing. Find yourself in that and find the better you. Don't be bitter. Don't be upset. Don't be angry. All right, be better. Don't lose yourself. Be the better version that you was yesterday, today. That's what you. That's what we need to do. Be careful with that. I already tell you there. All right, don't lose yourself. Like I say, sometimes we outgrow ourselves, our old self, but we don't lose ourselves. All right, so that's the second thing. All right, y'all. So. Your girl had to position her camera a little bit to the left just because that sun is coming down. 
and I'm just trying to utilize this daylight sun as much as possible. I do have a ring light, but that diva light, ring light, whatever it's called, just do too much. So, the third thing that's on your girls list is just having people around you that's not meant to be around you. Just having people in your life that's only meant to be there for a season. Holding on to relationships, holding on to friendships that you know are over. You know God put a period behind it, but you still trying to put a question mark behind that. Still having people in your life that hurt you. Still having people in your life that talk bad on you. Still having people in your life that don't want to see anything positive. I mean, just having people in your life that's not supposed to be there. You know they were supposed to be there for a season. You know you're not supposed to be taking them into the next season of your life, but you steady doing it. If you don't, be careful. It would tear you down. Four decades on this earth, I'm here to tell you, all right? Sometimes people is only there for a season. They're only there to help you get through a situation, and now it's time for them to go. And that's okay because God would bring somebody better than they was, or they would do more than they did. But you have to let it go first. You have to. Let people go that's not meant to be there, all right? That's the third thing. We're almost to the fourth thing that's on your girl's list. Yes. All right, y'all. So we are on the number four thing that's on your girl's list. I'm getting down to this list, y'all. I'm almost done. Stick with your girl. So the number four thing that's on my list is stop giving people the permission to run your life. Stop giving people permission to tell you what to do. Stop giving people permission to put their toxicity on you. Stop giving people permission. Stop. Be careful with the people that come into your life, come into your universe, come into your, your circle, come into your energy that tries to destroy it. Be careful with them people. Stop giving people permission to do that to y'all. Women, know your worth. Like I said in the first thing, stop giving permission to people to tell you what to do. Stop giving people permission to tell you how to do it, what to say. Stop giving permission to, for, to people to tell you what to wear, who to be around. Stop giving people permission to put their insecurities on you. All right, stop doing it. That's the number four thing that's on my list. All right, y'all. So, your girl had to finish the rest of this video outside just because my house did get a little bit crowded. My oldest son and my bonus son and his girlfriend just pulled up uh, to pick up my daughter so they could go get a room tonight in San Francisco for the Warriors Parade tomorrow because, yes, we did it again. But we are on the fifth thing that's on this list, on your girl's list, of just seven things to be careful with, y'all, or you might find yourself fucked up, all right? So the number fifth thing is just making peace with your childhood. Women, I need y'all to make peace with your childhood traumas. Whatever happened in the past, whatever mommy and daddy didn't give you, whatever mommy and daddy did give you, make peace with that. Make peace for you can have a better life. All right, make peace with it before you have children, before you get into a relationship that you think you're going to be in for the rest of your life. Just make peace with your childhood, especially these childhood traumas that us women sometimes carry on for generations and generations. I need y'all to know better. I need y'all to make peace with it right now, today. Make peace with it, give it to God. I'm not saying forget it or, you know, but just just let make peace with it. Some internal peace healing with your childhood. If it was good, if it was bad, whatever that was, whatever you didn't get, make peace with that and move on. All right, so let me hurry up. Your girl got to go to work. Like I said earlier, it's Father's Day. It's Juneteenth. I'm not supposed to be working on Juneteenth. This is my holiday, but I give tips. And it's Father's Day, so, yeah, you make your choice. So we're almost down to the sixth thing, and then we're going to be done, all right? All right. Ooh. Got the birds out here chirping. 
Alright, so the number six thing that's on your girl's list of, of just seven things to be careful with women. Alright, just be careful with these seven things. And the number six thing is just giving your peace away. Giving your peace away to people who do not deserve your peace. Now, God only gives us a certain amount of peace each day. A certain amount of energy, a certain amount of, just a certain amount of peace, period. So when we got to pick and choose who are we giving our peace to. Some people don't deserve our peace. Some people, I mean, this peace is expensive, and you got to start charging for your peace. So that's the sixth thing that's on your girl's list of just stop giving that peace away. The shit is expensive. People don't deserve it. They'll abuse it. They'll use it. They'll do all that good stuff. So, yeah, stop doing that. Know better so you'll do better. All right? So that's the number six thing that's on your girl's list. All right, y'all. So we are on the seventh thing that's on your girl's list. We are on the seventh thing that's on your girl's list. This is just to all my women out there. Uh, I thought I was being secretive, y'all. My neighbors came out. I had to wave and stuff. I thought I was going to be embarrassed, but I'm not. <laughs> so the number seven thing that's on your girl's list of if you knew better, you do better. This is to all my women out there. Be careful. All right? Be careful. Be careful. I mean, if you don't be careful with these seven things, uh, you might be fucked up in life. So... The number seven thing, y'all, and this is this is to it don't matter what age you is, how old you are, who you are, what nationality you are, what hood you stay in, what none of that, none of that matters. But the number seven thing is don't give up. Don't ever, ever give up. And any situation that you in, anything that God or the universe or life throws at you, man, don't give up. Ever. Whatever it is, you could do it. You, my friend, can do it. So that's the number seven thing on this list. And this is for all my, uh, I got me a little footstool out here. I'm living large. But anyway, this is for all my women out there. Don't give up. Don't settle. Know your worth. But the most important thing that I want my women to know is to never give up. Whatever in your heart, whatever in your dream, you could do it. You can do it, my friend. You can do it. So that's the end of this video. I got 30 minutes to go to work, get dressed, go to work, get this money. Yeah, life doesn't stop. It keeps going, it keeps ticking like the Energizer Bunny, like the battery keeps going and going and going. So I'm gonna end this video right now and I just want you guys to know, be you, like I say on all my videos, be you, it looks better, smells better, you do it better, can't nobody be you, you can't be nobody else. Stop trying. Don't look right. Enjoy your life, man. Enjoy your life. You only get one. You only get one. And don't give up. Don't ever give up. And don't never let nobody tell you what you can't do. That's for anybody. Any ginger. Man, woman. That's for anybody. Alright, so until next video, like I say, y'all be careful. Let's not be safe. The safes get broken into, and we don't have time to get broken into in 2022. I, I like coming and subscribe and share this video. It seems like y'all forgetting that memo. I see y'all watching my video. I get like five, six views per video, but I ain't getting no subscribers, man. Come on, subscribe to my channel. I know I need to market myself. I probably need to give me an Instagram and a Facebook and a Twitter, but I ain't got time for all that. So I just need y'all to subscribe to my YouTube until I start marketing myself. All right.